Hi, my name is Jane Watley, and today I'll be presenting on Sternberg's Triarchic Theory of Intelligence. Okay, so Sternberg, um, Robert Sternberg, he is a current professor of human development at Cornell University. He has made tremendous contributions to educational psychology, specifically in terms of gifted education. Some of his contributions include the triarchic theory, which I'll discuss today, um, the balanced theory of wisdom, which I'll touch on briefly, as well as other theories regarding leadership, thinking styles, ethical reasoning, love, and hate. So the creation of the triarchic theory of intelligence. First of all, Sternberg created this theory because he felt like conventional views didn't completely communicate what intelligence really was and what types of intelligence you needed to have. He references works from other um, psychologists, Gardner and his multiple intelligence being one of them, which I'll discuss later. Um, but for the most part, he felt like intelligence required or successful intelligence required the combination of multiple types rather than just one thing over another. Further, in terms of education, he recognized that the majority of intelligence testing addressed the analytical aspect of intelligence, those evaluating and analysis and assessments and um, types of intelligence, rather than just looking at um, creative intelligence as an aspect or practical intelligence as an aspect. So Sternberg believes that individuals can be intellectually advanced in other ways, such as creative or practical intelligence. So how it differs. Um, according to Sternberg, the ability to achieve one's goals in life, given one's social, uh, social cultural context, is true intelligence. So intelligence is not just being smart and being able to think your way out of a situation. Instead, intelligence is being able to look at a situation, assess the situation, think outside the box about solutions to that situation, but then also applying all of those previous steps to the practical environment, to making it work, making it um, actually come to fruition instead of just remaining in your mind. So the ability to achieve one's goals in life is successful intelligence, capitalizing on strength and correcting weaknesses, adapting, shaping, and selecting environments, and using a combination of analytical, creative, and practical abilities. I'll talk about the adapting, shaping, and selecting in a few minutes. That's a very big part of his triarchic theory. So the basics of the theory, you have analytical intelligence, which is the evaluating and assessing of ideas and concepts. You have creative intelligence, which is generating ideas and concepts, and then practical intelligence, which is applying ideas and concepts in the environment. You also have wisdom, which you saw earlier. He created this theory about the balance of wisdom. Wisdom stems from practical intelligence. When he initially published his triarchic theory, it wasn't included. Then he went back to add it because he said um, that an individual could be smart and could know how to apply themselves and could um, know how to use whatever they create in a practical sense. But there's a difference between being able to do that and being able to be wise and think about how everything you're doing impacts the ideas um, or environments of other people. So the breakdown of the triarchic theory, you start with analytical intelligence, which is the first aspect that he ever published. Um, the analytical intelligence includes meta components, which are everything that happens up here. So the planning, the monitoring, the evaluating, all of those steps that you take before you ever do something. The performance component is you actually executing that intellectual task. So this is analytical intelligence, evaluating a problem, solving a problem, whatever it is. So the performance is you executing, and then the knowledge acquisition is the connection made where your brain says, okay, I did this thing, and it worked because why? And so making that connection between what you did and how you were successful. So these analytical components work alongside the creative and the practical components to generate overall success, and that's according to the National Research Center on Gifted and Talented. 
The second step in the triarchic theory is creative intelligence, um, and that includes the intuition, the creativity, the ability to cope with novelty when you're put in a new situation, being able to figure out here are all the different ways I can achieve this, and then going in with that analytical intelligence and actually figuring out the best way to achieve it. So when it comes to adapting, shaping, and selecting environments, the creative intelligence fits within that shaping. So you don't just adapt to your environment, you shape your environment to fit whatever mold you see that you want to create. The final aspect of the triarchic theory is practical intelligence. This is where you apply components of intelligence to address problems encountered in everyday life. So once again, this adapting and the shaping, here's where the selecting comes in, because now you're saying, okay, this is what I need to do. This is where I am. Let me pick and choose and make sure I can get there. Sternberg added wisdom later as an extension of this practical intelligence, and wisdom is used in the shaping as well. So figuring out, use that creative intelligence to figure out, here's all the ways I can do something. Part of doing that is saying, how will this impact other people? And then when you approach the practical aspect of your intelligence, you're thinking practically, how will this impact everyone else around me? So Sternberg versus Gardner. Um, some have criticized Sternberg as not being far enough removed from Gardner. Sternberg's reaction to that is that Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence acknowledges that all these types of intelligence exist other than just academic and analytical, which is great, and Sternberg agrees. Um, however, the main focus of Gardner's theory is just that, that there are different types of intelligence. Sternberg instead is not just focusing on the fact that there are different types of intelligence, which he does acknowledge, and the three aspects, the analytical, the creative, and the practical, those all fit within what Gardner came up with. Um, however, Sternberg focuses on the outcome of the intellectual components working together in a practical sense. So in regards to education, he stresses the following ideas about intelligence. Number one, intelligence can be taught to a certain extent. So there are some arguments out there that people have a certain level of creative intelligence or practical intelligence or analytical intelligence. All intelligence can be taught. Number two, instruction should engage students in all three rather than only analytical intelligence. If you want to teach students how to be more creative or how to be more practical, you have to engage them in practice that allows them to prepare for those things. Number three, students must be given an opportunity to play to their intellectual strength rather than their weaknesses. If students are very creative, give them ways to communicate their knowledge through a creative format instead of giving them the same multiple choice test over and over and over again. And then the ability to successfully coordinate all three components of intelligence and knowing when to use them is a central part of giftedness. So if we get to that next level of giftedness, which Sternberg um, is an expert in, when we get to that next level it's not just that students possess these three different types of intelligence, but rather that they know how to manipulate those three and make them work together in order to generate something spectacular. So the supporting empirical research, um, the National Research Center on Gifted and Talented has completed quite a bit of research on Sternberg's theory of, or his triarchic theory. Sternberg works for the National Research Center on the Gifted and Talented, so he has a part in that. Um, but they did a study where they looked at how the triarchic theory could be applied in an actual practical education setting and whether or not it worked. And they found the following information. Number one, they found that the analytical, creative, and practical thinking skills can be improved, which Sternberg predicted. They found that the triarchic teaching method, which I'll discuss in a minute, folk, um, would, it focuses on the intellectual abilities rather than just memorization of facts and information. It can be implied, applied to improve student achievement. And not only did they see student achievement, but the student achievement occurred at all grade levels, all subject matter, and across a range of socioeconomic and achievement levels. So with the triarchic teaching method, essentially the main principles, and these come from the National Research Center on the Gifted and Talented, 
um, varied time spent on analytical, creative, and practical teaching. Provide students with ways to engage with all three of those on a regular basis so that they are familiar with all of them. Also, provide opportunities that enable all students to capitalize on their strengths. This comes with research done in, you know, providing choice to students, providing creative opportunities for students, provide, providing written opportunities or real world problem solving opportunities that allow students to really um, get to the practical aspect of education. Also, provide opportunities often that enable students to correct or compensate for their weaknesses. So instead of just seeing that they're struggling in creative ability, provide numerous opportunities for them to engage creatively with a with the lesson or with the instructional material and more often than not students will become more comfortable with their creative ability their creative intelligence will improve number four ensure that assessments match your teaching calling upon those uh, different intelligences don't give students the same test over and over and over again or don't only give students a creative assessment because some students are really going to struggle in that area. And then finally, value the diverse patterns of abilities in all students. So understand that your one student's really good at this, student B is really good at this, and let's figure out a way to help them hone those skills and get better at other aspects. So why all of this matters in the long run. So Sternberg emphasizes um, the difference between intelligence and successful intelligence. You can be smart, but can you think your way into or out of a situation? And can you apply your intelligence in a practical sense? If you can do all of those things, then you will be successful. So therefore, the triarchic theory is something that many teachers already do, perhaps without realizing they do it. The goal is that we make sure that education is practical for our students and not just how high is your IQ. Um, references are as follows. And thank you for listening.